good? Yes. Alrighty, guys. What is up? What's good? Is that actually even recording? Oh, I can't. Oh, it is. It is. I thought he was talking to me. Oh, there is recording. What's oh, good? I decided to make a little vlog right now because I haven't made it in a while. Because believe it or not, after two years of making videos, I'm still having trouble with equipment. Happens to the best of us. Either I forget to plug the mic in, or I forget to bring this actual GoPro skeleton mount. Or none of them work altogether. So I basically have to scrap the entire vlog. But. I did want to make this vlog because it is the last day of good weather for the next like four days and I've also made some additions to the bike and I just spilled it over the tank if you can't notice take your time I'm gonna go pay and then when I come back see if you guys can guess what I've done no oh, I can do that later let me just play for this shit let's start from the side nice little tank grips got them from pyramid plastics thank you got different handlebar funny enough i know you guys asked about this handlebar and a lot of people did ask about the previous handlebar i had and it was a pro tape one but this one i've changed the rental oh i've got to do a u-turn this is a rental ktm 85 sx bar so it's actually a motocross bar and the reason why i changed it because it was slightly narrow, but not too narrow, like the Street Fire. Street Fire is like 760 mil wide, this is 775. It's got perfect rise, doesn't have a lot of sweep like the Street Fire does. Street Fire's got like a bit more sweep, so the bars actually like come around a bit more. These ones are like more flat. Um, and they are perfect, like they're so much easier to ride with, they're easier to filter with. And um, I actually didn't have any problems installing them or fitting them. Because normally, on a motocross bar, you have these little two like clamps on the side that hold the little foam bar in the middle. And on the pro tape one, I legit had to hammer that thing off. But these ones, I just unscrewed it, cracked it off the glue, because it's usually glued on. Cracked it off the glue and uh, just slid it off the bar. Like, easy as. And then cleaned the residue off with like a little knife and some rubbing alcohol. And the bar literally looks like it never had those clamps on it and it's all blacked out and uh, yeah I'm really happy with it and then lastly I added these domino grips on because my old heated grips stopped working and uh, to be honest with you I've kind of gotten used to the cold now anyway my hands don't really get cold that often on the bike and um, even though the heated grips were nice but they weren't you know always good because there was barely any grip on the handlebars they were actually slightly wider so it was more tiresome for you to grip onto it um, and the throttle response wasn't great on them for some reason I don't really know why but who the fuck is this? Stop calling me man I'm on live oh is this is this Alex? <laughs> this is Ali oh Ali yeah oh right no I definitely didn't call you because I don't even have your number <laughs> okay, alright thank you you too bye one of my uni mates and uh, I don't even have their number but apparently they had my number somehow oh well so what was I talking about oh yeah so I got these new domino grips because oh shit I gotta do that other bit these have got real nice grip and I got them with a little yellow tint to match with the Olins oh shit I gotta do that up as well forgot about that and I've got some foot pegs coming as well and some bar ends coming I'm going to get rid of one of the lever guards and only leave the brake side on I'm actually also going to get another set of mirrors because the old set of mirrors I had one of them, one side was actually bent because I got hit by a van <laughs> so they're, they, they've been made redundant but yeah, overall the bike feels really nice now to ride around the sea I'm not as hunched over um, it's way easier for me to look over my shoulder and the bars are just, yeah the bars are great man <laughs> so I actually took a while to find these bars because a lot of rental bars are actually out of stock in the UK 
because of, I'm guessing, metal shortages or whatever. Do you quite this is Bally rap scallions! Um, but I went onto Rental's website, they have like a website link to the people that supply their products, that's what I meant to say. Um, and I just went on there, looked for like a supplier in the UK, and I bought it from somewhere, I don't really know where, but I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, it was really nice, it was, they were really professional people. Gave me a tracking number and I was updated by text. And it literally came in like two days. They said it would come to like four to five work, like three to five working days, I think. And it came in two, so I was really surprised and that was nice. But yeah, so now we are riding to meet up with Dimitri. Other dude with an MT07. Oh, and also just to add one more thing, cornering with these bars are actually well they feel they they're not as close to the ground so I had to get used to them. But I don't know what it is, but I think when you put when you have narrower bars, you get like less leverage so it kind of makes everything a lot more responsive. So when I want to turn somewhere, it just literally darts into that corner. Like the front end feels so much lighter compared to when I had those 800 mil wide bars. And uh, <laughs> the rise on these bars makes you sit slightly more upright. So doing wheelies on these are so much easier than to be hunched over. Because what the one thing I found with those really low bars was when you lean really far over the front end, you have to obviously give it a lot more power to get the front up. And um, that makes the wheelie a lot more unpredictable. Whereas these ones, you're kind of like not over the front wheel, but you've still got really good control. You don't have to put as much power down to get the front wheel up. So you kind of expect how much power or how far it's going to come up based on how much power you give and this is this is me saying from doing power wheelies that they're predictable <laughs> and normally power wheelies are the most unpredictable thing people don't recommend them but that's the way i do my wheelies at least so i still gotta learn clutch ups but that's the best i can do now i gotta go left but no one's gonna let me go left are they Jesus Christ, this, this corner is always so stupid because people in this country don't know how to fucking drive. So you literally have to be aggressive, aggressively cutting people off like this. Otherwise, no one's going to let you go. Oh, we got another one of them cyberpunk delivery trucks or delivery bikes. <laughs> And then, oh my god, I completely forgot about it. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but we hit fucking 1k! I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before, or have I not mentioned it before? I really don't know, but thank you guys so much for 1k. <laughs> I've like, been so distracted at what I want to say, I completely forgot that we actually achieved that milestone. And I really appreciate all the guys that have been here from the start. Appreciate all the new subs that are coming along. I know some people from Tarzan's channel definitely came over because I got like a little big jump after both of us uploaded this 10k vlog update so appreciate you lot coming over hope you're enjoying the content as well I'm not as shouty as him <laughs> I'm a bit more relaxed a bit more docile so if you want that kind of relaxing content you come to the right place obviously we do a, we do a bit of hooning around every now and again but dude rides a supermo I can't compare to that you know but yeah, really appreciate it. So, this has actually come out a really bad time that I hit 1k over the winter. But I'll still continue making content over the winter. Obviously, I did the same thing last winter. Um, I'm an all-round, all-year-round rider. Don't only pick the good days, but also the bad days. I'll put a little clip up <laughs> of when I came back from Milton Keynes, I think, to my wheelie class. And it was chucking it down. I was wearing this leather gear. And oh my god, water reached places that I didn't know water could reach. <laughs> so I'll put a little clip up so you guys can see how soaked I was. Oh! Still ain't taking fucking public transport though. Fuck that. To be honest with you, at the end of it, the water was in my boots and my jacket and my pants and everywhere else for so long that I was literally wearing a wetsuit like the water was warm it was warm around my body and I was actually comfy sat on the bike except for all the sloshing around in my boots and the leather jacket weighing like twice as much but apart from that it wasn't actually that bad but there's something about riding in the rain you know if you're like completely dry 
and you're like you know well insulated and you're warm it's actually really nice and peaceful there's something like really you know blissful about riding in the rain because i know loads of people like thunderstorms you know they enjoy rain because it's you know nice and peaceful and they get to listen to all the pitter patter of the raindrops coming down and the thunderstorm going off obviously i'll never ride in the thunderstorm because that's a bit too reckless but there was something nice about it that i haven't experienced before because for as long as i can remember i've never liked riding in the rain i still don't particularly enjoy riding in the rain but it was a different experience and i somewhat enjoyed it oh who's gonna fucking cross in front of me here Up there, I was nothing. Literally, the front wheel just got light. <laughs> Come on, bro! The fucking light was literally green for like not even half a second, and you're beeping at me. Who are you? Oh, whoa, whoa! Where are you going, bro? You're not a bike. I'm trying to filter down the middle. I also wanted to bring to everyone's attention that I wanted to change my channel name. Because every time I think about it, Max VV, Max VV, it doesn't really have a good ring to it. So I was thinking about either just changing it to Maxi, or I was going to change it to Maxi Moto Vlogs. Because I know one of the guys that, um, well, obviously everyone knows Mad Maxi. Guy rides a 2 he's crazy. That's why he's earned the name Mad Maxi. Um, he literally does wheelies at 100 mile an hour. Crazy man. So obviously I'm not going to go along that route. But yeah, originally I wanted to have Max VV as like a hidden meaning to something and um, I'm, I'm, it wouldn't have actually made that much sense even when I did make that happen but essentially my favourite engine configuration on the bike is a V4 I've never spoken about V4s but they are like my favourite engine hands down yeah. purely because of that fucking growl that they've got at the top end they sound like a MotoGP bike um, added fact of them being torquey and revy at the same time of them being smooth and they're like quite a rare engine you know you don't see a lot of bikes with, with V4s in them you literally only got the Ducatis and the Aprilias everything else is either inline 4 V-twins parallel twins or you know whatever other engine you got so but even if I did get a V4 which I did want to get either Streetfire or Tuono as like my dream bike is one of those Tuono or Streetfire dream bike right at the top nothing compared to that it's the best bike in the world no discussion but even if I did get a V4 the VV wouldn't make too much sense so I was either going to change it to something that's more relevant to my channel which is Moto Vlogs or Moto or just change it yeah just, just those two basically so I don't know which one I'm going to change it to maybe you guys can give me some input on that but I'll probably change it within the next week or so maybe my next video i might announce it in the next video in my vlog so stay tuned for that meanwhile we're gonna get through this shitty traffic and my visor's fogging up god damn Woo! now we've got to cross over two lanes to get to this side and we're gonna go through here to go left oh easy peasy oh this bridge is always the worst when the crossover because that tiny little gap i've seen so many rims die on that little gap especially if you're driving like a range or a big audi or a supercar oh look at that oh, they, that guy's not even close to the curb watch your rims bro you can go We'll just get a bike and you won't have to deal with this ever again. Bro, that is a sick bike to do the delivery on. <laughs> That's a 125. Oh my god, that 125 is built diff. It's so huge. Bro, that man's got a style, G. What the fuck? He's got them. little details on the side saddlebags he's got the nice comfy footrest screen what do you call it the windshield damn that is a funky ass 125 oh, these 125 have come a long way and there's a keyway as well it's a chinese 125 god damn hey yo hats off to those guys man they've actually come a long way from making 
jump to pretty cool shit. from when I had my Chinese 125 remember my one yeah every time you went over a bump the whole thing would start shaking like uncontrollably it felt like the whole thing was going to fall apart that's probably what all supermodels feel like though like they're going to fall apart <laughs> yeah now you see these Chinese bikes here they're giving them Japanese and European 125s a run for their money shit's costing like I oh, know, like around two and a half k, under two k for a one two five. Whereas you what? You're paying like four and a half, right? Like almost four k for a Japanese one two five. Obviously, you're gonna get a better quality from getting a Japanese one two five or a European one. But man, these little uh, Chinese one two fives are getting real good, and they're looking real good as well. Where is this man? It's so fluffy! I was going to say, maybe we shouldn't start it because they might freak the dog out. Yeah, I know it's fine, he'll get used to it. Mm. But in the beginning, he was scared of cars, planes, helicopters. Yeah. This was a nightmare for him. Yeah. No, he's good now. Aww. <laughs> that way
nice. Oh shit. Oh, what the? <laughs> oh, there's another one behind it. 